<clears throat> okay chaps welcome back um i did do part two but for some reason there was something in there they said there was copies right i think it's when i mentioned a certain company so they've um, basically blocked it so i'm going to do this as quick as i can and i'm going to be setting the edge on 3k and straight to the 8k and then straight to the arkansas so i'm going to do the whole process in one video so 3k nanua wheel shaped and what we're going to do is creating that curvature on the razor to create this concave bevel and i'll show you how, how i do that i'm going to do a brief brief video try and get it all in so same as before start off with some extra strokes and we're just thinning the bevel out there, creating that concave bevel, making the edge thinner so it shaves better. And let's do some half strokes. Hopefully this video uploads. So yeah, I'm just working on that curve that I've created, which uh, basically acts like a wheel. It's really good. I'm gonna work on it for a few minutes. And all we're looking for is new material at the back of the bevel, which it's already creating. This bit will get quite boring, so. I'm not using loads of pressure. It's a very fast stone. Just letting, just letting the hone cut and just gliding that razor over there, keeping the flat spine flat. Feels like it's took shape already, that does. Just gonna get the bevel as thin as we can get it. It's just like holding on a flat stone rear, but this has just got a curve to it, and that curve is gonna give you a different shape bevel. So we're actually cut thinning the actual bevel itself. A little old, uh, little old vintage razor. This full of low grind. Okay, let's have a look at that. thing about this hone it does swarf up but it doesn't clog it's the Nanua Pro this just it's the um, it's a bit more expensive to buy it's not quite as soft as the Nanua Superstones and the Nanua Superstones really do clog up this Nanua I think it's the Chisera range um, it's it's the 3k and it it really doesn't clog up you can just rub your fingers across the top and it loosens all that swarf up which is good for honing using this method. Just take it off there, hold that nice. Imagine that was a wheel going around, this is what it would be like. I don't really know all the science behind this, but I'm just keeping it simple. I just know this this shape's gonna go into a uh, shape my bevel to a concave bevel, and that's what we want. We're just back beveling that bevel, filling it out, making it as thin as we possibly can.
Perfect. I can feel that that's done. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the AK, AK. It's AK Norton, and this one's slightly got a curvature on it, curvature there, and, it, and uh, it just goes a little bit higher in the middle there. Not much, but just just a little bit. You can see the flat underneath, and that's shaped on the long, the longer axis of the plate. And by using this uh, stone, what we're going to be doing is working more towards the apex. And this is where we refine. And what I do, I'll work on here for a few minutes until I get a nice mirror finish. And um, that way I know that the uh, scratches have vanished from the 8K, um, from the 3K. And we've got a nice 8K edge on there, ready to finish on the flat finisher, which up for the Arkansas. I'm going to just hold this. Start off with some half strokes. And you're just getting the heel down on that curve there. I prefer to hold the stones personally, I don't know why I just do. You just follow the contour of the actual curve. It's dead easy, it's not hard to do. You can see that the raise is on a rocky surface. And like I say, don't be frightened to do too much on here. You're not used to... I've not had any over honing problems neither. Um, Right, let's just check that edge, see how it's uh, shaping up. Let's get in there, gonna swap sides, gonna work flat this time, get a bit done on the uh, stone holder. Right, I'm gonna just shoot off now. I've got a customer. <clears throat> but that's what we do on the 8K, and uh, the next video will be on the finishing stone, which is flat. Catch you in a bit.